Hey, how's it going? Richard Matthew here. I hope you are well. Uh, I want to give you a couple of tips on how you can promote your network marketing business and product better on social media, uh, specifically through what you post. You know, this is a very simple tactic, right? Everybody has the ability to post on social media. So uh, if you are at all using that to uh, as, an, as a mechanism to bring in interest, to bring in leads, to get people saying, hey, I want to know more about that, then uh, this podcast will definitely help you today. So first and foremost, um, let's avoid the, the big no-nos that you may have overlooked, okay? The big no-nos go as follow. I'm just going to blast these out to you. Big no-nos are... Uh, spamming in groups, okay? Spamming, tagging, tagging people when they are not actually, you know, anything to do with the post that you're making. Big no-nos are pitching people before you actually ask them if they're open. You know, a lot of times somebody puts some kind of comment somewhere or you post something, somebody says hello, and the next thing you know, you're all over that. Hey, hey you should join, you should join. Well, listen, they may just be trying to show support. Now they won't anymore. That's decreased the engagement you're going to get because everybody else watching that goes, man, if I comment on this post or like this post, I get pitched the heck out of. So that's a big no-no. Another big no-no is you know, fake it before you make it. People, people can tell. Okay, people can tell when you're standing in front of a car and taking a picture and it's not really yours. People can tell when you're trying to, you know, stretch the realism of, of what it is that you're doing and where you are. They can just sense that. And think about that. If you see someone and they're posting and it's not really true and you know that, are you going to believe anything else that person says? No. So right there and then you close the door on that person reaching out to you because they say, well, pfft, man, if I message this person, I'm probably not going to get a truthful answer anyway. It's going to say whatever. So those are some big no-nos, okay? Let's avoid those as rule number one. So what should we do? Second way that we can improve. Well, we should start to be more honest and open. Like, I, I really see a huge opening in the social media space right now for more honesty and integrity. Like, everybody's trying to play to the very, 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 very best, like, absolute limit and sometimes beyond it of what the truth is. So if you're slap bang in that truth, I believe, and I've seen myself and from a lot of my, my students and clients, that you know, this, is, this is actually gaining momentum now. Instead of going out there and being like, we're part of a $94 trillion industry and you want to get in now or get left behind and blah, 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 that tends to turn people like doesn't turn them on at all and also if you do turn people on with that message you tend to get more like boom and bust type people like i'm all in no no i want to want to refund you know what i mean like the people that are just flaky they just they're, they're all whatever they see whatever they read whatever they hear they're like i'm all in for that and then somebody else says oh i wouldn't do that they go no i mean either like they have no backbone they have no confidence or character and you don't want people like that to work with they're a nightmare to work with right you never know if you're coming or going so instead i remember years ago i was like you know i'm through with all this spammy marketing that my company keeps telling me to do i'm going to go a different way and i started to go out there and just share the truth like i talked about more about what it does as opposed to what it is the benefit of these things the benefit to me the benefit of to people like me i'd share simple things like when I remember when I very first earned a little bit of money, I was able to not work weekends anymore. I started to take a Sunday off. Instead of having to work seven days a week, I could work six. That's a big deal for me, especially having a family. The ability to have a day where I can just like switch on to my family and be present with them and, and, and not have to be worrying about work or taking phone calls or doing, I'm just going to do a few hours at, at, at work and then I'll be back. It was nice to have a clear, clean day to recuperate went a long way to my mental health and you know, quality of our family life. So I posted about that. I was proud of that. Even though it's not a million dollars, right, like a lot of people are bragging about, I was like, hey, really looking forward to feeding the ducks and going for a walk with the family today. First day in X amount of years that I've not had to work overtime. So grateful. And guess what happened? I picked up a few messages from other people that were working overtime and other people that knew that that was a truth that I did work overtime and that, you know, okay, Richard, what did you do? How are you not working overtime? And I could tell them, well, you know, I started a bit of a project a while ago and I've managed to now get enough money where it's replaced one of my work days a week. I don't have to work a Sunday anymore. And then it was no weekends. I posted about it again. So cool to be like a normal and in inverted commas person again, five days instead of seven, seven days a week. Got a bunch of messages. 
What did you do? I work weekends a lot. Or I feel pressured to work overtime because of my financial situation. These are good leads. These are people who see that I understand their problem and I have a solution for it. And so on and so forth. As these little steps came, I started to share it, started to share the reality. And even before then, you say, well, Richard, I don't have any results. That's okay. Let's not make excuses or look for problems that look for solutions. Okay. I started to post about the hope that I had. What's the benefit of the, the second that you've joined your network marketing company, you've already had a benefit. You've already created a benefit. Do you know what that is? Hope. Do you know how many people lack hope or any kind of goal or any kind of dream or any kind of anything to look forward to right now? Do you know that they all they see for their future is the same old crappy job that they don't really would have chosen with very little progression beyond the few pro- promotions that other people seem to get? Nine to five, Monday, to, nothing wrong with nine to five, but I mean any, any job, even self-employed, right? Just week after week after week, rolling into the next, months going by, years going by, nothing different, no hope of anything different, no chance of anything different, just I guess this is the best I'll get. And the second you join the network marketing company, could you not post about your excitement if it's truthful? I did. For the first time in a long time, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. For years, I've not known how to get out of this situation. And now I feel I have a genuine possibility and chance that I do. So excited to begin work on this project. It's nice to have hope, a goal, some passion and excitement back in my life. Now, is that a really positive, strong, attractive message or not? The answer is it is, right? You read that and you go, man, I want that. I don't have any of those things in my life right now. I wonder what Richard is doing. Did I talk about making a million dollars? Did I talk about being the number one leaderboard income earner? Did I talk about, you know, Ferraris, like amazing cars, trips, travel, like any of those things that people say that you've got to display and show to get results. Did I do any of that there? No. But was it still compelling enough to raise someone's curiosity and then say, you know what? That is a big benefit that I want. Let me ask this guy what he's doing. Because not only do I want that, he seems like a genuine real person and I I want to know more. See, this is what you're overlooking. You're overlooking the simple kind of hiding in plain sight benefits that you've got a group of people that want to help you, a community, excitement, hope, training, development, progress, structure, excitement. There's there's just so many things that the second that you join, you could post about. So why, why are you not doing that? Why are you insisting on the same thing that every other amateur does? Hey, we're part of a $95 trillion industry and you'll be sorry if you don't post now. They go, seen that 50 times today already on my newsfeed. Next. You go, I don't know why anybody's joining me. Because they know you're lying. They see this message from everybody else who pitches them every two seconds. And now they don't trust you. So you go in the bucket of one of those. And you can kiss goodbye to them ever reaching out to you. Give it a try. Be authentic. Talk about the simple benefits that you've gained. Maybe you get to spend some time with a family member. Maybe the personal development you learned at an event or from an upline or from a coach helped you repair a relationship or set a goal that you've been meaning to set for a while or, you know, whatever it is, right? Sit and have a think about the benefits you're gaining from being where you are and start to talk about those benefits and see what happens with your engagement, see what happens with the people that reach out to you and also see how you feel about the way in which you're promoting your business, that you feel a lot better It's a lot more professional and a lot more attractive. I hope this has helped. As always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. Uh, If you're a subscriber, I will speak to you again soon. And if you are a network marketer that uh, likes my type of training and would like some more for free, uh, you can go to authoritynetworker.com forward slash group. Uh, There you can join my Facebook group. It's absolutely free. Every week I do live coaching session inside of there so you can get live coaching for free. Plenty of support from the community. It's spam free. Every post goes through me or a moderator so there's no spam or advertising in there. It's all to do with helping you do better where you are. And, uh, you know, it's just a really cool place to be if you want to grow and you're open to learning uh, more training from me. I'll catch you over there. I hope to see you soon. Have a fantastic day and I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye for now.